sing Hosanna this Monday of Holy Week and stick around for a few more minutes as we look at Mark chapter 11, verses 9 and 10. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. We talked a little bit about this yesterday in the sermon. Uh, and so we know that the, the crowds in Jerusalem that gathered for the Passover festival were riding a spiritual high. I mean, they were singing Hosanna, waving palm branches, and acclaiming Jesus as their king, as their promised Messiah. But by today, Monday, you know, they were already starting to slip. And by Tuesday, eh, they weren't so sure anymore about this Jesus fellow. And by Friday morning, I mean, many were screaming for his blood. Their Sunday hosannas were quickly forgotten. Now, the word hosanna is Hebrew, and it evolved in meaning uh, over time. Uh, originally, and you could say literally, uh, hosanna was a kind of prayer, and it meant something like, please save us. Uh, but by the time Jesus uh, was on the scene, it, it was mostly used like a, a, a joyful, well, well, acclamation, kind of like saying, all hail, you know, hail to the chief. So when the crowds were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David, uh, many were just caught up in the moment of uh, just all the excitement, the splendor of the, the parade and the even this nationalistic pride. And they're trying to recapture the glory days of you know, King David. Well, Hosanna was, in fact, the word that they should have been using and praying that day, uh, not in like a boastful pride or nationalistic sense, but as a fervent plea by sinners who know they have, um, they have just no way to rescue themselves, like us. And again, like the crowds in Jerusalem, we so easily forget what we need Jesus for. It is essential that we understand if this is our, our Hosanna, if it's going to last longer than a day, if we're going to uh, always think the, the purpose of Jesus coming was to help us find a good parking spot. I know that's silly, but even other earthly things, but maybe are actually serious and even important. Things like make us happy. Like, is that the ultimate purpose of Jesus is to make us happy? Uh, to make us wealthy? I mean, did Jesus come to earth and die on the cross so that we would be financially secure, much less abundant, but even healthy? Right? Again, I talked about Paul in the sermon, how he prayed for this thorn in his flesh to be removed, and God didn't remove it. God said, my grace is sufficient for you. And if that's our perspective, that uh, we're thinking this, these are the reasons Jesus came, if this was his purpose for me anyway, this is what I need Jesus for, well, our perspective is way too narrow. We must understand that the reason that Jesus came was because of our sin, our horrible sin. He didn't come just to be worshipped and praised, but we praise, worship, and serve him because he came to die. Humbly laying down his life for our guilt. And when we keep all this in mind, see, our hosannas will ring truer and they will remain on our lips much longer. Let's pray. Blessed uh, Father, uh, during this Holy Week especially, uh, we remember, uh, we 
contemplate uh, the depths of your love, of your gift of forgiveness that you have freely given to us uh, for the price that you paid so you could freely give it. Uh, and what a great price it was. Uh, blessed are you, Lord Jesus, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Save us, save us, Lord. Let that always be on our lips. In your holy name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining us and uh, pay attention to the uh, special Holy Week services, Thursday, Friday, and of course, Sunday, Easter. See you then.